somebody came down here to check something. Something very unusual happened to him. It just got really cold. Did you? It, it's totally from standing right, right there. Right about there. Yeah, I have just massive goosebumps. This, so this man. I'm starting to sense more of who he is. He worked here. Do you feel this pull? I feel like I'm being pulled. I feel like I'm being told to go in this direction because it just keeps getting colder and colder. Colder and colder. And colder. I have chills up and down. Wow. Something happened right in this doorway. Okay, listen what I'm getting. Listen what he's telling me. There was something against the wall. Somehow, it fell forward. It hit a button. My whole shoulder and my whole one right side of my body is like, I can't describe it. It's like crushed or this man got killed right here. this move, or did the, was there a big ironclad door? There was a young engineer who died right here in 1965. And you see, this is a watertight door right here. This is the gears for the door. And it, it pulls oh, so in? He, was... mm -hmm. <laughs> he didn't come to terms with his passing only because it happened, wasn't supposed to happen. That's what he keeps saying. It, it was an accident. I'm telling you, there was not a lot of people down here when this happened. So there was a lot of cries for help. I hear him wailing in pain. He didn't really live very long at all after that. Everything was just crushed. But there were plenty of cries for help. How tragic. I told you, you're very sensitive to the energy. When you were in that changing room, you were picking up on his fear and his panic. You were feeling it right through the wall. The minute we started walking towards this area, I just felt like I was going towards something bad, something sad. Something sad. Yeah. OK. It is a sad energy. I am getting the sense of, of a gentleman. Where did you go after the changing room? We ended up at the third class nursery. OK. So could you take us there? Absolutely. I, I need to get to this nursery. This is, this is key. Something is mm -hmm. very key right here. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your experience. First time I ever came on the ship and we did our own little ghost hunting, we ended up here and um, I wanted to get into this room. I was on my knees actually trying to like somehow get the lock open. <laughs> Why did you want to get in the nursery? What led you? What At possessed the time, you? I felt like I had to. I immediately was drawn and I was like, I need to go over there and I need to get in that room and I need to see what's going on. Like something's not right. I needed to see what's on the other side of that. Okay. Room. I am sensing the energy of one of the children who played here. Oh, this is a girl. This is a little girl. OK, this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm understanding. I kind of feel like there's some kind of link with this child and what's key to finding the connection with the man. Is this off limits? OK. You know, I dare not even try to go in there because he's still here. You were most likely feeling that protective energy, that 
that built up in this space. The energy of this man is still guarding his child. This is the dominant one on this floor, on this ship. I can guarantee you, you and I are not the only ones who have encountered him. My friend Gene, who was with me at the time, he came over, he put his hand on my shoulder. Right here. Yep. And at that moment, I saw his face, and he was terrified. <laughs> and he just took off. Where? Down here? the hallway, yeah. We have to go there. OK because we need to retrace the steps. This hallway. This hallway. Right here, yeah. So he's about, I don't know, 10 steps in front of me, and, and I felt somebody right behind me. And I stopped oh. for a second, and I turned around, and running full speed towards me was that man. Full speed. And I just turned and I took off. When I saw him and he was running after us, there was an anger, like we violated his space. But there was also, for me, I saw this absolute, utter sadness. There was this emptiness in his eyes when he was coming towards us. OK, this is what I'm getting. There's something about this gentleman that seems. I can't hear an actual accent, but there's a, there's a foreign feeling to this man. The way he looks, he had very angular features, mm -hmm. very precise angular features. Um, I'm picking up a name. It sounds like Alex or oh, wow. Alexander. It's uh, it's either Russia, it, it, it's, it's foreign. It's definitely not American. He paces back and forth and back and forth He's, he's still guarding this space. Yeah, this man much. is still here. He has a very big connection to, I want to say, the little girl. I've always thought that he was protecting someone that was in this room, his, his okay. child. I always felt that it's true. I was disrupting something. From what I'm, my vision showing me, the reason he was always protecting his child is because he was worried about her getting taken. Oh, wow, the story gets crazy. No! He's showing me that his daughter was taken away from him on this ship. Wow. She was here one That's day, crazy. gone the next. I mean, that makes total sense as to why me trying to get in there would trigger the adverse reaction that I had. He died soon after that. His spirit came back here because this was the last place he saw his daughter. So he needs to be freed from this space. Wow. I just got chills. The that would make sense. Now, let me ask you something. How did this leave you? Well, you know when you've been talking about somebody that was angry and somebody that, you know, you you felt like they were this angry person, mm -hmm. I kept thinking, OK, it must be him. It must be him. But I didn't, I, I wasn't sure. I mean, everything that you just said completely validated everything that I experienced and that I felt. So, Kristen, I was compelled today to bring you something. And what it is, is it's an absolutely beautiful crystal. This is clear selenite. And I'm going to actually hand this to you. I want you to feel it. It has an amazing vibration. What selenite does is it clears confusion of consciousness. 
And I really feel this man is confused. Yeah. You know, in his mind, he's still protecting his child. I really feel that it would be a great idea for you to go and bring that as a peace offering. Mentally, tell him to go to the better place and that his daughter's not here any longer. When you do that, you are putting the intention out there yeah. of what you would like to see happen. Okay. And so that's going to be your closure for this situation. Okay. I think it's a wonderful idea. It was great having Kim validate my experience, seeing the same gentleman. That was an experience that I truly did have, and it was real, and I'm, I'm beyond appreciative. I absolutely feel that I have the closure that I was looking for. I can now really move on knowing that um, I have made peace with that, and I've made peace with him. I'm lost for words. It was an amazing day and I'm keeping Kim's number in my phone from now on. <laughs>